गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई होप ऑल आर डूइंग गुड एंड ऑल्सो आई होप दैट यू मस्ट हैव गॉन टू दियर वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू रिलेशनल एलजेब्रा so today we are going to deal with few more relational algebra operations so in the last session we have gone through natural join operation and i had given you one homework assignment so i hope you must have gone through and you have come up with the solution we are going to look at that solution first and then we'll see few more operations like assignment operation and outer join operations right so let's revise the natural join operation so we have seen this operation earlier in natural join what we have is we are having two relations r and s and we are finding out the natural join of these two relations and the resultant relation will be on the schema capital r union capital s and the expression or the formulation of this natural join operation is like our natural join s is given as the cross product of r and s right wherein we are matching the attributes those are common in both r and s and this is how we have provided here the operation selection operation which has this predicate and this predicate is actually matching the common attributes in r and s so we are having n common attributes a1 a2 up to an so those are being matched right and we are having this result on the schema r union s so we are having the projection operation with the attributes in this set r union s so this is how we defined the natural join operation and we have seen the example as well and i have provided you one homework and the problem statement here is find the names of all instructors in the computer science department together with the course titles of all the courses that the instructors teach yes ma'am yes ma'am have you solved okay yes. so which tables to be used this is our relational schema so which tables to be used to write this query instructor instructor course, course and teach instructor we need to use course we need to use and teachers teachers and teachers right this teachers we are supposed to use okay so correct so we are having here the natural join of three tables instructor teachers and course with this natural join we need to provide the predicate as well and what is that predicate we want instructors in computer science department so the condition to be provided here is department name equal to computer science right and what we would like to list out we do not want to list out all the attributes from these tables and that is why we are having here the projection operation and what we need to list out is name of the instructor along with the title of the course so only these two attributes are listed in projection operation 
so this is how we can write this query using natural join operation if we select to use the cartesian product instead of natural join then anybody who can write the query we do not want to use natural join but instead we need to use the cartesian product once again we need to use the same three relations so we are making use of instructor relation cross product teaches cross product course so if we are making use of a cartesian product or cross product then to have some meaningful result what we need to do is we need to match the common attributes in these relations so which are the common attributes in these relations yes we need to use select operation and we need to match the common attributes so what are the common attributes is there any common attribute in instructor and teachers id id instructor id yes so we need to match that instructor id equal to teachers dot id what else is there any matching condition in teachers and course is there any common attribute course course id course id is the common attribute so we need to have here and operation and we need to write teachers dot course id is equal to course dot course id these two are the matching conditions please remember if we are having three tables in cartesian product we should have minimum two matching conditions right those match the common attributes in the respective tables but in addition we should have one more matching condition and what that matching condition would be the department name equal to computer science right so we should have one more condition department name equal to compsats right and here one more add so this is one condition that has been provided and these two are the matching conditions those we should have and in addition what we would like to list out we want to list out name and title so we should have this projection operation along with this so this is how we can write this query using the cartesian product so both are actually the same both are providing us the same result as the same result so in this first statement we have used natural join so if we go for natural join then there is no need to have these matching conditions because natural join itself matches the common attributes but we should provide the additional condition if any right but if we go with the cartesian product then exclusively we need to provide this matching condition and as i stated if we are having three tables in our cartesian product we should have minimum two matching conditions so that we can extract the meaningful data in addition to these matching conditions we are having one more condition that is provided in the statement right so both are actually giving us the same result in every see whenever we are using cartesian product 
we need to explicitly provide this condition that matches the attributes common attributes right but if we go for natural join implicitly natural join matches the common attribute on its own so no need to provide this condition so simply so natural join actually is simplifying our task in cartesian product we should provide these two conditions additionally and if we go for natural join then we need not provide these matching conditions because natural join itself is doing that right natural join itself is finding out the common attributes and matching the attributes which are common so we are omitting these matching conditions here if we go with natural join but if we go with cartesian product then we should we should provide separately these matching conditions that is the difference yes ma'am fine so this is actually the output of this statement or both the statements are giving us the similar output so we are having name and the title of the course that these instructors are teaching okay so let's proceed now with one more concept of theta join so this is simply the extension to natural join so in fact this theta join operation allows to combine selection and cartesian product into a single operation so see here the notation is r we are using natural join operation with this theta as the subscript so r natural uh, sorry r theta join s is similar to r cross s with the selection operation with the condition theta so what this theta includes this theta includes the condition right that we are provide the predicate so for example if we want to find out the names of all instructors in the physics department together with the course id of all courses they taught find the names of all instructors in the physics department together with the course id of all courses they taught so we have written this query earlier okay but now we are making use of theta join so in theta join what happens is we are making use of the relation instructor and teachers right we are making use of this natural join also so by making use of this natural join what happens is we are matching the common attributes from these two relations right and we should provide one more condition here and what that condition is department name is equal to physics is the condition that we should provide so instead of using this separate selection operation we are writing here the theta join operation so with this natural join symbol in the subscript itself we are providing this condition department name equal to physics right and which attributes we would like to extract name and course id right so this is another way of writing the instruction so the similar kind of statement we may write like instructor natural join teachers right then selection operation department name equal to physics and what we would like to extract only two attributes name and course id so both these are similar got it 
So instead of having additional selection operation here, we are combining this natural join with the selection operation. And this is how we are making use of this theta join. So natural join with the selection criteria. Right? Are you getting me? Yes, ma'am. Fine. So let's proceed now with the next operation that we are going to discuss. And this is the assignment operation. So what is assignment operation basically? The assignment operation is denoted like this reverse arrow. Okay. And it provides a convenient way to express the complex queries. So by making use of this assignment operation, it is possible for us to write a query as a sequential program consisting of series of assignment operations followed by an expression whose value is to be displayed as a result of the query. Okay, and this assignment should always be made to a temporary relation variable. So what we mean by that? So let us see one example. So we have seen this natural operate, uh, natural join operation, R natural join S. And this R natural join S is actually represented as the series of operations, series of relational algebra operations like this. Okay, so this query actually is a complex query. So if we want to write this complex query in a simplified way, what we can do is we can make use of the assignment operation and we can write this complex query as a sequential program consisting of the series of assignment operations. So what we mean by that? So we want to write this R natural join as this query. So we are splitting our task into subtasks. And these subtasks are being assigned to some temporary relations. So see here, we are having one relational algebra operation here, and that is R cross S. So what we are doing is, we are simplifying the task. We are writing the series of operations now. So we are first computing this R cross S Cartesian product, and the result is assigned to this variable temp1, which is a relation, temporary relation. Okay, what next? On this temporary relation now, temp1, we are imposing the selection condition, right, or the selection operation. So what next we may do is, we may use now this temp1 that has already been computed, and we are imposing now the condition or the predicate that matches the common attributes with this selection operation. And this entire statement is being assigned to another temporary relation and that is temp2. Okay, so this is our temp1. This is our temp1. This entire thing becomes our temp2. So all are the temporary relations. Those we have created by making use of this assignment operation. Okay. And finally, what we need to do is we need to use a project operation on this temp2 such that we want only our union S attributes to be displayed. So in result, we are writing the query like we are making use of now this temp2 and the projection operation R union S. So we are simplifying our task. We are having few subtasks. Those are computed sequentially and the results of the right hand side, the result of the expression at the right hand side is assigned to a temporary relation variable. And in subsequent statements, we may use these temporary relation variables. 
and further we may come up with the next queries and finally we are providing the reason right so this is how we can make use of this assignment operation yes ma'am fine so let's see one example here find the set of all courses taught in both the fall 2009 and the spring 2010 semesters so we have written this query earlier by making use of intersection operation the similar query we can write with a simplified way so what we can do is this is the first part of the query and that has been assigned to this temporary relation temp1 this is another part of the query that is being assigned to another temporary relation say temp2 and then we may compute the result as the intersection of temp1 and temp2 so this is another way of writing the same query using assignment operator right so if we find writing very complex query a bit difficult what we can do is we may come up with the simplified queries temporary queries and then we may use those intermediate results in the subsequent statements even more if we want to simplify this writing of this query even more then what we can do is for this individual part we may write one temporary relation say temp1 then with projection operation this entire thing we may write another temp2 right then what we can have we may have one more temp3 equal to sorry temp2 how we can write temp2 equal to projection operation course id temp1 okay this becomes our temp2 similarly what we can do is for this inner query now we may write temp3 similarly we may come up with temp4 which is equal to projection operation course id in parenthesis temp3 okay and finally we may write the result as temp2 intersection temp4 so this can also be done fine so let's proceed now with the next operation and that is outer join operations so in fact this outer join is an extension of the join operation extension of the join operation that avoids the loss of information so this outer join operation how it works the outer join operation we have seen earlier the natural join operation okay so in natural join operation what happens is whichever are two relations those we are using in natural join operation the natural join operation will give us only the tuples those are matching with respect to the common attributes i'll repeat the natural join operation is actually providing us only those tuples from r and s those actually match on the common attributes right so we are having here in natural join only the tuples which are matching with respect to the common attributes so if there exist any tuple that is not having the match in another relation then that tuple is being omitted from the result okay so this is how our natural join operation works now in outer join 
what we are going to do is we are first using the natural join operation and natural join operation will provide us only the tuples from both the relations having the matching condition on the common attributes okay but in outer joins what happens is first of all we are getting that result of natural join and then we go on adding few tuples from one relation that do not match the tuples in the other relation so first of all we are extracting the output of natural join and then we are going to add few more tuples from one relation that do not match the tuples in the other relation so if we are doing that then obviously if there is no match in the other relation that value needs to be substituted or that attribute needs to be substituted with the value known as null so null signifies that the value is unknown or the value does not exist so let me give you some examples so that we can have better idea of outer joins in fact under outer joins we are having three kinds of operations left outer join right outer join and full outer join i'll repeat we are having left outer join right outer join and full outer join so see here this particular notation is meant for left outer join so we are having natural join and towards left hand side we are having these two parallel lines so this is our left outer join symbol similarly for right outer join we are having the notation like this this is the natural join notation along with towards right hand side we are having two parallel lines okay so this is right outer join and for full outer join the notation to be used is like this right so all these three forms of outer join actually are computing the natural join first and then they are adding extra tuples to the result based on what kind of join we are using so let me give you now few examples first there is some instructor who teaches no courses then the tuple in the instructor relation for that particular instructor would not satisfy the condition of a natural join with the teachers relation right and if this is the case and if we are performing the natural join then that instructor's data would not appear in the result of natural join so let us assume two instances of instructor relation and teachers relation okay now can you find any instructor in this instructor relation who is not teaching any course yes just go through these two instances of the relations and give me the answer now is there any instructor who is not teaching any course yes can you find any instructor who is not teaching any of the courses yes gold yes gold gold yes so the instructor with id 33456 this instructor is actually present in my instructor table right but the entry for this id is not available in this teachers relation so what does this mean this means that 
this particular instructor with id 33456 is not having any matching tuple in this particular relation correct is there any other instructor other than gold 33456 yes is there any other instructor who is not teaching no. any course telephery no ma'am telephery telephery yes yes so here we are having one id 58583 correct so whether this id is available in this relation no no meaning this instructor is also not teaching any course right am i correct is there any other record available in instructor relation which is not there in teachers or any instructor who is not teaching any course yes what about Sing. this sing sing so this id 76543 is also not available in this teachers relation meaning this instructor with id 76543 is also not teaching any course correct now if we consider the natural join of instructor and teachers if we consider the natural join of instructor and teachers then what will happen we will get the result such that the attribute common attribute that is id here id is the common attribute in both the relations right so this common attribute is having the matching ids only those tuples we are able to extract as the output of natural join right so this is the output of natural join of instructor and teachers right so see here in natural join of instructor and teachers whether we are having these three ids present just go through this output whether these three ids are present here oh. no no we do not have these ids present in our natural join and the reason is we are not having the matching tuples for these three ids in other relation that is teachers and that is why these ids are being omitted from the result of this natural join okay now if we want to include if we want to include even though these teachers these instructors are not teaching any course we want to include the data of those instructors in the region right if we go for natural join it will not be possible for us to include the instructors who are not teaching any course in the output but if we want to have the data related to these instructors as well in our output then what we can do is instead of going for natural join we may go with the left outer join we may go with the left outer join so what will happen if we use left outer join as the name indicates left outer join so meaning is first this natural join output is computed and next what will happen is as this is left outer join which is the table towards left this is the uh, join of instructor and teachers correct 
so which is the table towards left it is instructor so what will happen is first it will compute in left outer join first it will compute this natural join instructor natural join teaches and in left outer join what it will do is whichever is the table towards left hand side and the tuples from the left hand side tables for which there is no match in the right hand side table those tuples will be added into the output right what we will be getting is see here what we will be getting is this output so what we have in the earlier natural join operation we were not having these ids included in the result but now whenever we are making use of instructor left outer join teaches what will happen is the tuples those are not having the matching tuples in the right hand side relation those will be added so this tuple with id 33456 33456 is being added here 58583 is being added here 76543 is also being added right but as there are no matching tuples in the right hand side relation whichever are the attributes from the right hand side relation those will be replaced with null values so these four attributes belong to the left hand side relation for which there is no match in the right hand side relation and that is why those attributes are being replaced as null values see here so left hand side relation data is available but there is no match in the right hand side relation so these attribute values are replaced with null so this is how our left outer join works are you getting me Yes. Yes, ma'am. Got yes, the concept? Any doubt so yes. far? No, ma'am. Fine. So this was left outer join. Similar concept we are having with respect to right outer join. Exactly opposite, right? So in right outer join, what we are going to do is now see here we are having teachers relation and we are having instructor relation. okay now if we perform right outer join teachers of teachers and instructor so right outer join of teachers teachers and instructor so towards right now we are having instructor table towards right, right left we are having teachers table and what we would like to perform is we would like to perform the right outer join so obviously what will happen in right outer join first of all no doubt the natural join is being computed so in natural join will be having only those tuples those are having the match on the common attribute in both the relation and further as this is the right outer join what will happen is the tuples who are not having the match the tuples in the right hand side relation which who are not having any match in the left hand side relation those tuples will be added into the natural join result okay and the respective attributes will be replaced by null in the left hand side relation so the output will look like this once again this id is not available in teachers this id is not available in teachers and this id is not available in teachers right so instructor is now towards right hand side so these three 
and these are not available in teachers relation so obviously the natural join will provide us only those tuples wherein these three ids are not present because there is no matching criteria okay but in right outer join now what we are going to do is even though these tuples are not having the matching tuple in the left hand side relation these tuples will be added into the result okay and as there is no matching tuple remaining attributes from the left hand side relation will be replaced by none so be our result just look at it what we have right so this instructor with this id was not having the matching tuple in the left hand side relation right similarly this instructor with this id 5853 is not having the matching tuple in the left hand side relation further this instructor with the id 76543 is also not having the matching tuple in the left hand side relation teaches even though these are not having the matching tuples those are being added so unmatched tuples from right hand side relation are being added and the respective attributes in the left hand side relation are being replaced by null because we do not have that data available in the left hand side relation for that id so these attributes are replaced by null values got it any doubt so far yes is there any doubt no ma'am so i will proceed with the last operation and that is actually the full outer join i'll just explain what is full outer join right it is similar kind of thing left outer join and right outer join so in left outer join what we do is whichever are the unmatched tuples from the left hand side relation we keep those tuples in the result in the right outer join what we do whichever are the unmatched tuples from the right hand side relation we keep those tuples into the output in full outer join which is denoted like this obviously what will happen we first compute the natural join and next what we do we keep all the unmatched tuples so we keep unmatched tuples from the left hand side relation and the respective attributes from the right hand relation will be replaced with nulls similarly we keep unmatched tuples from the right hand side relation and the respective attributes in the left hand side relation will be replaced with null values so in full outer join we are having all the tuples present from both the relations even though they are not having any matching tuple simply what we are doing is whichever is the attribute having unmatched tuple in the other side relation we replace those values with null that's all so full outer join is actually combination of both left outer join and right outer join right so from left hand side relation whichever are the unmatched tuples we are keeping those also from the right hand side relation whichever are the unmatched tuples we are keeping those tuples as well in the output and this is how we are performing full outer join okay 
have you understood the concepts left outer joint right outer joint and full outer joint all these concepts we are once again revisiting whenever we discuss sql right now we are discussing all those concepts with respect to the relational algebra operations the similar operations we are having in sql right so actually right now we are creating the platform to write the sql queries okay so if you are understanding the concepts right now it would be easier to understand the sql statements as well is there any doubt yes is there any doubt have you understood all these operations of outer join yes or no i am expecting the responses yes ma'am so i hope that all of you must have understood all those operations okay and we'll be revisiting those operations whenever we go for sql right so let's stop today and in the next session we are going to discuss about few more operations and we are going to cover the aggregate functions as well okay so let's stop today thank you